So, that was my trick, guys, to keeping your hair nice and tidy. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. It is Miss Lauren Lee 11. Miss Lauren Lee 11. Miss Lauren Lee 11. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. And as you can see from today's title, I'm going to be showing you how to wash Marley twists and keep them neat using this one trick. And everything like that. So as I've been quarantined and self-isolating, I got kind of bored doing wash and go videos or just doing wash and goes in general. You started crying like a little baby. I put my hair up in Marley twists and it took me about, <laughs> no lie, an hour and a half. Tell the truth. Twists are so easy to do in comparison to plaits, personally, that's what I think. So I just put them in some Marley twists just to leave my hair alone. If you are aware of protective styles, I've got the itchy scalp phase. And now I'm going to have to wash my hair and I'm not taking up my Marley twists because I've only had them in for a week. So I want to show you how to do this, guys. If you have braids or twists in your hair and you do not want to take them out because you may want to redo them after you wash them and you don't want to lose the partings, then I'm going to show you guys just a quick trick just to keep your hair looking nice and neat as well as fresh and clean and tidy. Right, so I'm going to take my hair down. <sighs> and I don't know why my hair is so messy, guys, because I have actually had it like this for the whole week. And I've slept in my bonnet as well, but my hair, I don't know. I suppose just being in the shower, my hair's gone all frizzy and now they're kind of looking like locks. <laughs> I did actually twist my hair using hair grease so the twists themselves aren't that messy, it's more so my scalp. My hair has got pretty messy. But yes, uh, as I said, my scalp has been itching and it's actually calmed down now. I find when I have protective styles, my scalp starts to itch, maybe for about a few days, three to four days, and then it will calm down. So I'm gonna show you what I use to wash my hair. I'm going to condition my hair because this will help to soften and moisturize the hair. And then I'll show you my special trick if you don't wanna take out your Marley twists or protective style, guys. Right, so first product I will be using, Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo. I am just a fan of Tresemme because they just keep my hair lovely and soft. I'm going to be using that to wash my twists. And then, as I would, I'm going to use conditioner just to follow up. Alright, so let's get washing. So I'm not going to show you washing my hair in the shower because <sighs> it's just too much having to move the camera. Okay, girl, bye. But I'll wet my hair and I'll show you how I shampoo it standing up okay now my twists are wet but i was focusing more so on my scalp because that is the part that i really want to cleanse the shampoo will run down my strands as i wash it out of my hair i don't want to disturb the, the twist too much because the whole point of this guys is you want to make sure your scalp is clean your hair as well but your scalp mainly just to maintain the style so you don't have to take out the twist and you're trying to minimize frizz as much as possible i'm going to grab my shampoo And now I'm going to rub it into my scalp. I have greased my scalp and that actually minimized the itching and the dryness. But to be honest, it feels so good, sorry guys. I didn't actually want to have to grease my scalp daily because that's where you get lots of build up and then I suppose it's like a knock on effect. That's where you get more build up, the more itching. So therefore I just need to cleanse my scalp. I'm not itching it with my nails. I'm just doing it with the pads of my fingers just to massage it. And again guys, it's almost like rubbing hair grease into your hair where you're massaging your scalp you are increasing the blood flow to your hair follicles, therefore promoting growth. Just to get the scientific part out of the way, guys. As you can see, guys, I'm not going back and forth. I'm doing it in the direction that my hair is twisted. So I don't want to disturb the hairstyle too much. So now I've done that section, I'm going to go on to the rest. And I'm going to show you the back. And then guys, I'm going to do the same with the sides. So as you can see guys, as I said, as I'm shampooing, I'm also massaging. Just making sure I've covered all areas. Can't have a protective style and not wash it because it just irritates me. If it was Camro, then I would not wash it. I wouldn't leave Camro in my hair for this long. But I'm going to be leaving my hair because I'm doing a personal hair growth challenge for a month. I may redo them, I may take them out after a month. Um, but for now, I'm leaving them in for a month. 
I don't know how long I'm gonna be quarantined. So if you guys have got any Marley twist or twist or protective style ideas that you would like me to do, as I said, I'm still trying to work for the other ones, guys, but it's hard to do if I've got my hair in protective style. So I will be working on those other suggestions you've given me. But for now, if you've got any protective style suggestions that you would like me to do, leave them down below and I will get through those for you. Okay, so now I've shampooed my hair and I'm happy with that. Obviously, you have to follow your shampoo up with a conditioner. I'm not going to be deep conditioning. I just feel like with the twist, it can't get into the strands properly. So it's just gonna be sitting on top of the strand. So I'd rather just condition and then wash out. Now I've washed out the shampoo. As you can see, I have some frizzing up here and that is fine. That is fine. I'm gonna use my trick to show you how I get that laid. So what I need to do first is condition my hair before I show you my trick. And I've put this side away guys, just because when I was washing my hair, I wanted to make sure that all the strands were lined in the direction that my style is going. To wash my hair, I was washing it down, if that makes sense. I'm going to apply my conditioner. Now I'm just more so concentrating on the hair that's actually twisted into the extensions. All right, and I feel that's enough conditioner applied. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it out as much as possible, but as my hair is twisted, some of the conditioner would have seeped into the twist and therefore it will stay there. Okay guys, so now I've washed out the conditioner, the washing and the conditioning is now complete. So what I'm gonna now do guys is show you my trick. Anyway guys, so now I'm gonna show you my trick and this is a product that I have used in my previous video. If you remember the video that I've done where I've shown you how to lay your edges without reheating your hair. And it is that product, it lays my hair so amazingly that I'm just gonna have to use it. I'm gonna have to. Dax Naturals Styling Pomade. I have actually done a whole video on this where I showed you, as I said, how to straighten my hair and the effects that that has on my hair. And I'll leave the link at the end of this video, guys, if you wanna go ahead and watch that after this video. So what I'm gonna do, guys, if you remember how well it straightened, smoothed, and sleeked my hair, I'm gonna rub it into my hands. It does say use a small amount, but I'm a natural, so we don't use small amounts, do we? So this is how much I've got on my hands and I'm going to start in small sections because I don't want to overdo it and get product build up after I've just washed all that product out of my hair. And I'm going to apply it to the roots just to smooth down the roots. Now if you are unfamiliar with this product guys, it does go on white but as it dries, it does turn transparent. I think my hair is looking pretty tidy. And you can use more if you want the neat look. I'm not too fast. It's not like I'm going anywhere is it? And I'm not gonna go ahead and grease my scalp right now. I will do that when my scalp starts to itch and I'm gonna have to actually put more product on my hair right now while my hair, my scalp is fresh and clean. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and let my natural oils on my scalp do their thing. Anywhere you can see your strands sticking up or frizzing, you're gonna want to just smooth them down, as I'm doing. And then you wanna work your way down because it's a st styling pomade. Stoiling. <laughs> it's a styling pomade, it's not like, it's not a wax, but it keeps the hair in place. It's got a really nice hold to it. Okay, so I think my hair is neat and tidy. Now guys, if you do wanna go one step further, I'm gonna do what I did in my edges video. And as I said guys, it's going on white, but it will dry transparent and your edges will be laid. Wow, that is a lot of edges. But you know, we've got to work with what we have here. Um, I'm not too fussed about brushing them down. I think they're nice and smooth as it is already. And I'm going to put a scarf on my edges just to lay them. I was going to tie a head scarf around the whole of my head, but as my hair is still damp, I don't want to create an environment for fungus and bacteria. So I'm literally just going to lay my edges. So, that was my trick guys, to keeping your hair nice and tidy. I don't think my hair's looking too bad, I think it feels nice and fresh and clean. Definitely got rid of the build up, my hair feels light and airy, just like a cool summer breeze. <laughs> Take my head scarf and voila! As I haven't got any um, major styling products in my hair, such as gel, 
my hair won't hopefully take that long to dry. I mean, it's not dripping right now, guys. I don't know if you can see that. That is it so far. My hair is laid. And I will come back to you with the final result, guys. So I'm going to go and let my hair dry. I'll let you know how long it's taken to dry. But this is it. How to wash your hair, keep it tidy using my little trick. All right, guys. So I will see you soon. Hey guys, so I'm back and this is my hair after it's fully dried. It took a couple of hours, so literally a couple of hours, about two, two and a half hours to dry completely. Now my hair feels nice and fresh. My hair is nice and soft. So I laid my edges as you can see. My edges are still kind of fluffy because when I wash my hair in general anyway, my hair always seems to puff up until the grease I suppose starts to settle down into my hair strands and then it starts to act right, okay. That goes back to, you know, when your hair's the dirtiest, that's when your hair looks the best. So, these are the end results, and I'm happy with them. I like when my hair starts to not look so fresh and starts to look a bit, a bit messy, I like that. I think it's chic, I like it, boho chic. So, that is it for this video, guys. If you don't want to keep your hair looking messy, but you want to keep your twist in for long, I'm going to show you on my next video how to keep your Marley twist looking fresh with little effort. Just a quick little tip, you know, just to help you out while you've got your protective style in. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're getting on. If you've got protective style, if you strayed your hair, if you've done a lip check, if you've done a big chop, if you use hair grease, if your hair's relaxed, all the above, just message me, guys. Let me know how you're getting on. And I will see you soon. <laughs> all right, bye, guys. I'm going to go in with my favourite hair grease for styling and it's the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. So now I'm just going to do a two strand twist. My hair is completely dried. Okay guys, so these are the end results.